Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Radio Entrepreneurs. I don't know if everybody has missed me during my absence. Uh, I was working on my book, a new edition of my book, The 24-Hour Turnaround, and other client activities, and I took a little bit of a hiatus from Radio Entrepreneurs. I want to thank Jonathan Friedman, who probably did better than I did stepping in for me and playing host for Radio Entrepreneurs. Uh, John is a more than an adequate re replacement. He may be a superior replacement. Our next guest, I don't want to take too much time up, is Jennifer Sahadi, CEO of Master Money. Welcome. Thank you so much, Jeff. Uh, welcome. Uh, tell us about Master Money. So I started a consulting company to focus specifically on financial education. There are plenty of businesses that serve the financial market. And I found in all of my time in finance that there is this huge gap of education. So I am trying to help people learn how to master their money so that their money stops mastering them. Is this on a personal level or a corporate level? It's actually on both. So my experience is at corporate and personal. So in the past, I worked as an education consultant for retirement companies. So I would go into any company that had a 401k plan or a 403b or 457, and I would help people better understand how to save for retirement. But I realized that retirement is really like the end of a financial journey. And you have to start early. But first, there's so many other things that you need to understand. So I found myself trying to fill the gaps and teach people how to have the money to put money away for retirement and how to have emergency accounts and how to have better control over savings and spending because it's very, very easy to just fall into the inertia of marketing and sales. In fact, all of the best behavioral finance scientists are working for sales and marketing companies. So the average consumer doesn't realize the force that is against them when it comes to controlling their own money. Well, you know, I'm a big supporter of what you said. And I used to have a client uh, that did it financial education for its staff, uh, for its employees, uh, blue collar employees. And they found that it was the best training they ever did because most of them didn't know how to balance their checkbooks, didn't know how to pay down debt, pay down college, save for college. And by doing that, they actually increased job satisfaction and productivity. And retention. Uh, and retention. So is this some of the stuff that you might be doing? Absolutely. And I'm really excited to hear that there's someone else out there doing that because I didn't find many people and it's daunting to try to take on this, this big task all on my own. But you've done it for a lot of companies. You're saying you've done it for over 500 companies? I have. Yeah. So I worked my way up from smaller companies. So I have worked with startups. Uh, I have worked with middle sized companies and I moved into the mega market <clears throat> where I was working with really, really big names and helping people from all backgrounds. So I've had a, a bit of diversity in my experience and I've added working with individuals as well because in the past I wasn't able to. So in the past oh. I could only work with clients of my companies so and I'm now I could work with anyone who needs me. I'm a big fan of going into what I call the way back machine. I didn't invent the term uh, Rocky J squirrel and those people did in the 1960s. But uh, tell us about your background and how you evolved to this point. Absolutely. So I grew up a little bit differently, I think, than most. When I wanted something, my parents would always say, well, let's earn it. <clears throat> so they'd make me do additional chores around the house, like painting fences beyond having to vacuum and dust every room, which was my responsibility. And I was just very careful, very frugal. I went to business school. I went to Bryant University. And of course, then I went across the street to Fidelity. And when I was interning at Fidelity, they taught me about the 401k. And I was really surprised that I hadn't heard about it sooner. And it really made me realize as a senior in college, how much I hadn't learned about real world things. So I instantly sought out to just be a carnivorous devourer of knowledge. I looked to get information wherever I could. And I moved into the retirement education position, which I loved because you probably recognize this. This might be one of your secrets behind being a radio show host or a streaming host now. When you're learning and teaching with other people, you're learning too. Right. So I had this really great opportunity to travel across the country. I worked in 47 different states with people of all backgrounds, of all ages. And every time I spoke with someone, I could see the person in front of me, but I could also see their age, 
their retirement savings balance, and their income. And I was able to dispel a lot of the myths that I had in my head from societal norms about who is wealthy and who is happy and who is stressed about money and who isn't. And I think there's this thought in life that once I reach this amount of money, I'll be happy. Once I have this many things, I'll be happy. And I was able to clearly see time and time again that that just wasn't true. And that was really impactful. I I try to teach people that, but being able to see it and feel it really made a huge difference on my life and the way I lived and the way I approached happiness and finances. You know, uh, I've heard this before, but usually it's from people who appear to be a lot older than you are, uh, that they've come to this conclusion at a certain point of their career that, you know, that let's say through their 20s, 30s, 40s, they're all developmental points, 50s, that, you know, they're more driven towards success, maybe up until 50s. But as they hit 50s, 60, their concept of success and life balance changes. Uh, you don't look like you're even close to that. I don't want to get in trouble. Uh, I appreciate that. I might there, be a little bit older than I look, but uh, you're right. I have come to conclusions a little bit faster than most because people were honest with me. People gave me the gift of speaking sincerely and I listened. Right? So there's a lot of knowledge out there. I learned at an early age that I didn't have to make every mistake myself. I could learn from other people's mistakes and that's actually a lot easier and less painful. I could learn from other people's successes. You know, in my teens and my 20s, I spent all of my time trying to make every mistake myself. And I learned a lot. I did. But learning from others has been a huge gift. So a lot of times people will say, you don't talk about money. It's rude. But I can tell you from having thousands of conversations about money and actually listening to other people, it can help you advance decades. Right, right. Uh, How do you get your clients? Every which way. Most come from referrals. I have a pretty extensive network and allows me to work with people I trust as well. I have had some people reach out to me just from LinkedIn or from Facebook or from Instagram. So it's however people find me, but mostly it's friends of friends of friends, because once one person likes you, you're not a well-kept secret. Maybe give us a little picture of your growth plan. Absolutely. So to me, this information is essential. So while I'm helping businesses and while I'm helping individuals, I'm also beginning to get into schools as young as middle school. So I'm working with some middle schools, some high schools and some universities. And that would be the plan, right, is to almost, as you mentioned before, like the Dale Carnegie School, have a school where people can get good and clear and trustworthy financial information to get an education in it before making any financial decisions with financial businesses. So I I assume- It's a big goal. I I don't want to assume anything. Do you do both classroom training and also, uh, let's say, uh, individual coaching? Absolutely. Yeah, I like to focus on classroom training and business training, because in that way, I can use my time to reach as many lives and families as possible. But when individuals ask me, I've got a bigger heart than I have a head. (laughs) So I do absolutely work with individuals as well. Wow, it's very interesting. We've been speaking with Jennifer Sahadi, uh, CEO of Master Money. Uh, you know, clearly uh, a very interesting topic that you're bringing up. Jennifer, if someone wanted to utilize your services, and I think it is a great service to use in companies uh, to help employees and staff, how would they find you? Oh, absolutely. It's very easy, as long as you can spell my name. So my email is jennifer at jennifersahadi.com. And my website is jennifersahadi.com. I figured if it was good enough for Susie Orman, it was good enough for me. (laughs) So that's my approach. If you're a company, my website is broken down by the different groups. So if you're a company, you can click on companies and you can see the different presentation topics and content that I've covered before, as well as some of the companies that I've worked with. If you need some credentials beyond my young face, because as you noted, I am a bit more experienced than some people might initially realize. And there's a contact us page right off the website, or you can email me directly. And I try to get back to everyone in 24 hours. Oh, that's great. And uh, 
you know, if you can find Jennifer, uh, we hope she's going to be coming back to Radio Entrepreneurs again, and we'll be c- connecting with our network. But you can find her on all the, the Radio Entrepreneurs connections on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and web. And also we have our website, Radio Entrepreneurs. So Jennifer, you're going to be uh, everywhere. We look forward to, you know, speaking to you again on Radio Thanks Entrepreneurs. Thanks so much, Jeff. It was a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. I'll happily come back anytime. You're a delight to speak with. Great. Uh, again, everybody, this is Radio Entrepreneurs. <laughs>